Portable fire extinguishers are some of the most useful fire protection appliances. Outside of the fire service, fire extinguishers are frequently used to put out small fires in homes and businesses. In fact, many fires go unnotified due to their use. Portable fire extinguishers have proven to be an asset in the fire service in crucial situations where time is valuable. It is imperative that firefighters know the operation and use of portable fire extinguishers carried in their apparatus. In this lesson, we will go over when to use portable fire extinguishers in fire incidents, the types of fire extinguishers DFR carries in their apparatus, as required by NFPA standards, the different classifications of fires, and choosing the correct fire extinguisher, as well as the maintenance and inspection of these appliances. The term compartment fire is defined as fire that occurs within an enclosed room or space within a building. Fire development in a compartment may be described in terms of several stages. These stages include incipient, growth, fully developed, and decay stage. In the incipient stage of fire development, the fire has not yet influenced the environment within the compartment to a significant extent. During the incipient stage, the fire could be extinguished with a portable extinguisher or a small hose line. By definition, a fire extinguisher is a portable firefighting device designed to combat incipient fires. Different types of fires call for different types of fire extinguishers. Let's go over classification of fires. Class A are your ordinary combustibles, wood, cloth, paper, rubber, grass, and many plastics. Class B are your flammable and combustible liquids and gases, gasoline, oil, lacquer, paint, mineral spirits, and alcohol. Class C are your energized electrical equipment, household appliances, computers, transformers, electrical motors, and overhead transmission lines are typical sources for Class C fires. Class D, combustible metals, such as aluminum, magnesium, potassium, sodium, titanium, and zirconium. These are most dangerous in powder form. Class K are your oil and grease fires, which are normally found in commercial kitchens and food preparation facilities using deep fryers. There are fire extinguishers that are effective for extinguishing multiple classes of fires. These multi-purpose extinguishers are labeled AB, BC or ABC, which are the different fire classes this particular fire extinguisher is effective for. NFPA 1901, Standard for Automotive Fire Apparatus, requires that fire apparatus be equipped with a minimum of one approved dry chemical portable fire extinguisher, a minimum of 80 BC rating, and one 2.5 gallon or larger pressurized water extinguisher. DFR engines and trucks carry water fire extinguishers, which are known as a water can, dry chemical fire extinguishers, and carbon dioxide or CO2 fire extinguishers. Four things must be present for a fire to exist. This includes oxygen, heat, fuel, and chemical reaction, as explained by the fire tetrahedron. The correct fire extinguisher must be chosen to disrupt one or more of these elements to successfully extinguish a fire. Water fire extinguishers are used for Class A fires only and work by taking away the heat element of the fire tetrahedron. DFR carries the Badger water can and is filled with two gallons of water, which is about three quarters full, half a cup of Class A foam, and the rest pressurized air to 100 PSI. It empties in about 55 seconds and can reach from 30 to 45 feet in distance. Dry chemical fire extinguishers are used for Class A, Class B, and Class C fires and work by interrupting the chemical reaction of the fire tetrahedron. DFR carries the Badger multi-purpose dry chemical extinguisher, which has an operating pressure of 195 PSI, a discharge time of about 28 seconds, and a discharge range of 16 to 20 feet. Carbon dioxide or CO2 fire extinguishers are used for Class B and Class C fires and work by having carbon dioxide displace the oxygen in the fire tetrahedron. They also remove heat with a cold discharge. DFR carries the Badger carbon dioxide self-expelling extinguisher, 
which has an operating pressure of 850 PSI, a discharge time of about 14 seconds, and a discharge range of 3 to 8 feet. When arriving to a scene where a fire has been reported, and it is determined that a fire extinguisher can be used safely and efficiently for the given situation, just remember PASS. P-A-S-S. -S. Pull the pin, aim the nozzle or hose at the base of the fire, squeeze the operating level to discharge the extinguishing agent, and sweep the nozzle or hose from side to side until the fire is out. NFPA 10, standard for portable fire extinguishers, requires that a monthly inspection be performed to verify several things. This includes verifying that the locking pin is intact and that the tamper seal is unbroken, examining the extinguisher for obvious physical damage, corrosion, leakage, or clogged nozzle, confirming that the pressure gauge or indicator is in the operable range or position, and having the user lift the extinguisher to ensure that it is still full, making sure that the operating instructions on the nameplate are legible, and checking the last professional service date on the tag. Keep in mind that it is required that a licensed fire extinguisher maintenance contractor have inspected the extinguisher within the last 12 months. Portable fire extinguishers will continue to be an asset for firefighters and fire operations. It is important for each member to become familiar with fire extinguishers carried by DFR, when it is appropriate to use them, and how to properly utilize them. It is imperative that these appliances are properly maintained and inspected so that they are ready for use when needed. Thank you for your time and stay safe.